In this video, I'm going to show you how to update to the latest firmware, 2.3.4, build 4.0, uh, and also a new method to root the phone. Uh, previously, if you're using an uh, international ARC, you could download this Hong Kong firmware and use the standard flash tool to flash this Hong Kong firmware. And then you could just go into your phone, go into settings, Sony Ericsson, oh sorry, not Sony Ericsson, about, and go into software update. This would allow you to update uh, over the air and maintain root, but this wasn't available for uh, the North American arcs. So this is 2.3.2 and 3.0181. In my previous videos, I showed you how to uh, root the arc using a ginger break, but this only works on 2.3.2. So now there's a new method that will root any Xperia Arc or any Xperia phone. Um, this was how to keep root by when, when you updated to 2.3.3. Um, what you would do is root 2.3.2 and then update over the air and that maintained root. So I'm just going to demonstrate this new method. So to start off, I'm just going to demonstrate that this root works on version 2.3.2 and then I'm going to update to the latest 2.3.4 and then root it again. So to start off, go to the original thread. Uh, this is where Doomlord has posted uh, all the information about the exploit and as well as files to download to uh, run the root. So you're going to download and it's just a batch file that you're going to run. Um, this exploit works on all these, has been confirmed to work on all these devices on any firmware. So to start off, I've downloaded the exploit and unzipped it. Uh, he called it a Zerg Rush, so if you play StarCraft, you'll know what that is. Um, as always, you need both PC Companion and Update Service installed. If you flash your phone, they should already be there. Um, if you're missing any files, go to my website again, or go to, sorry, the description. And inside, there's a link to Mediafire where I've mirrored all these different files and you can download uh, them PC Companion as well as any other Android apps that uh, you need. So to start off, um, I'm not going to run the batch file directly because if it runs into any issues it's going to be harder to troubleshoot. So what you're going to do is hold the shift button on your keyboard and then you're going to right click on an empty spot in uh, the window and you should get open command prompt here. When you click on that you're going to get a big black box and it's going to uh, allow you to run the command directly. However, if this doesn't show up as administrator you're going to have to open up another way. So I'm just going to close this. So if you don't get it as administrator it might not run properly. So go into start, um, programs, accessories and there should be command prompt there. So right click on it and make sure you run as administrator. So when you run as administrator you're going to have to uh, go to the proper directory. So the easiest way to do this is to copy this. So copy wherever you've extracted the, the zip file that you downloaded. So I'm just going to copy all that. And then back in the command prompt you're going to type in cd which stands for change directory. Uh, space and then right click so it's either going to show up or you might get li a little menu if you get a menu just uh, go to and just hit paste so CD and you get if you right click you're going to get a menu just go paste and it should allow you to change and go go to that directory so I'm just going to list off all the files DIR shows you all the files so um, before as always make sure you're reading this all the instructions on the exploit. So the only thing you need to do, so on your phone, you need to set up unknown sources and USB debugging. So go into settings, uh, applications, oops, turn on unknown sources, go into development, and turn on USB debugging.
and hit OK. Once you've done that, you can uh, plug in your phone. And it should show up. Okay. So once you've done that, you're going to run the uh, command to uh, root your phone. So it's run me. You're going to get a menu, and it says that this script will uh, root, install BusyBox, and install the update service. And again, it goes through all the different instructions and warnings. Just hit OK. It's going to detect the phone and just run the exploit. So it's pretty much uh, just type in the command and run it. Uh, so now it's just going to restart your phone once it's uh, done the exploit. So it might take a few minutes to uh, restart. Just going to turn on stopwatch. So once the uh, phone is restarted, just take the back lid over there. If you go into the phone, you'll see you now have super user, which means the phone has been rooted. So you can test this out using uh, AdFree or Titanium Backup or BusyBox or any of the other applications that require root. So, so the, for the second part of this video, I'm just going to update to the latest 2.3.4 using uh, Wotan Server and show you that this exploit works on uh, 2.3.4. So there's another video that shows you how to use Wotan Server. So you have, if you haven't already, go to Wotan Server, create an account, and download the client. It's going to ask you to plug your phone in um, in flash mode. So I'm just going to pull the battery on this phone and plug it in again. So plug in the USB cable, hold the back button, and I'm just going to show this screen for now. So when you hold the back button and put in the battery, it's going to pick it up, and it's going to change uh, once it detects your phone. I'm just going to move the camera a bit. So first you're going to want to click on advanced settings and this gives you a whole different bunch of, bunch of options. So for example, this software does work on other phones as such as the X10 and uh, the Arc, the Play, the Neo. So just find your model number. Uh, next you're going to choose the firmware. So the latest version of the firmware isn't actually at the bottom. It's uh, 2.042 as of October 29th. If you click on that, you get a whole bunch of drop downs. So Wotan server has a uh, different versions for all the different regions and as you can see here at the bottom for North America there's the uh, LT15A 2.3.4 uh, US which is actually different from North America for some reason. Next you're going to click on next enter in your login information click update and then where you want to download the files and just click next. So it's going to download uh, the three files and then it's going to start flashing your phone so I'm just going to again start a stopwatch. Uh, so once the firmware has finished downloading, it's going to start flashing your phone. Uh, for North American users that want this version, I've created a zip file with the Wotan client and the file is already downloaded and you can check the description to download um, that zip file directly. So now it's just going to flash all the files to my phone. So once Wotan server is finished flashing the phone, just unplug it and restart the phone. So.
Um, as always, the first time you start up, it's going to take a while because it's uh, rebuilding everything. So once the phone has started up, just go through the usual uh, setup process. And as you can see, the setup is different for uh, build 4.0. Download the settings. Rogers. If after flashing your phone, uh, you don't have 3G, either use the automatic settings or enter it in manually. So go into settings, Sony Ericsson, um, internet settings, and hit accept, and it'll try to download the settings automatically. So there we go. And that should get you uh, 3G. If that doesn't work or there's an issue, like the uh, information's wrong, go into wireless and networks mobile networks, access point names, and you're going to have to enter in your information uh, manually. You can also use a program like APN Backup and Restore to uh, restore your settings if you save them before you flash. Synchronize accounts, contacts, register, and finish. Agree. So as you can see, it's now, it's properly uh, L15A 2.3.4 build 4.02.a.042. And if you go into your applications, you'll see that uh, super user is not there because this is a brand new flash and the phone hasn't been rooted. So just go into settings, applications, check unknown sources. Go into development and check USB debugging. Once you've done all that, plug in the phone. And this time around, if you didn't encounter any issues running uh, the program, I'm just going to run it directly from uh, the folder. So there's the run me. Uh, no need to do all that complicated command prompt stuff. And I'm just going to hit run just position this a bit and go So once it's complete, it's going to reboot the phone. So I'm just going to put it back up here. So once the phone has restarted, if you go into programs, you'll see you now have super user. Uh, so the phone has been rooted successfully. And that's how you get the latest version of 2.3.4 and root. But again, this works on any version uh, of uh, 2.3. As always, if anything goes wrong, use either PC Companion or Update Service to flash and or repair the phone or you can use Wotan server to flash it again or you can use the flash tool so there are literally four different ways to flash and uh, repair your phone if anything goes wrong if you have any questions uh, just ask in the comments and I'll try to get back to them and as always uh, like and subscribe thanks